everyone. Today we're making an Asian chicken salad with peanut sesame dressing. You're gonna love the flavors. If you like salads, you're gonna love this one. It's nice and fresh and raw. We are gonna grill up our chicken. We're gonna have some carrots in there, cucumbers, some jicama, green onions. I mean, you name it, it's in there. And you can customize this any way you like. Leave out some of the vegetables maybe you're not crazy about and add in the ones you love. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. All right, I'm gonna start off here with chef joke number one, and number two will be a little bit later. Here we go. How do you talk to a fish? You drop him a line. So we're gonna start off here with our dressing and I'm gonna show you what we've got in here. So to our bowl, we're gonna add three tablespoons of a good quality olive oil. And remember, you can find the written recipe in the description below. To that, we're gonna add a third of a cup of rice wine vinegar. Next is a couple of teaspoons of toasted sesame oil. I've got some natural creamy peanut butter here. It happens to be organic. Now I'm using some tamari sauce here. This is gluten-free. You can use regular soy sauce if you want. We'll do a couple of tablespoons of that. I've got some fish sauce. If you haven't used this before, this is a little different and it really does add something to the dish. So I would definitely add it in. Next goes some honey. Now here you can play with this depending on how sweet you like it somewhere between one and two teaspoons. So next is some fresh garlic. I've got several cloves here, but they're small. So I'm gonna put these small little ones in, but about one to two cloves. And then I'm gonna add some fresh minced ginger to this. First, you wanna peel off the skin. I like to use the back of a spoon. It helps quite a bit get the skin off. And you're gonna use about a tablespoon or so of this. I like to take a, a little microplane and we'll just grate this up. Well, if you wanna use dried ginger, you can use about a half a teaspoon of ground ginger. It's very strong, so you use less of the dried stuff than you do the fresh stuff. So we'll take a whisk and blend that up. Now we're gonna work on all our vegetables in our slaw, starting with our carrots. Now I'm gonna grate up a couple of carrots for this, but you can always take a shortcut and buy it already grated. Now we're gonna place everything in a large bowl. Next up is our coleslaw. You can see I'm using already prepared coleslaw. This is just another of my shortcuts that I like to use. So we'll add that to the bowl, and now we'll move on to our bell pepper. You can see here that I'm just cutting around the center of the bell pepper to get the part that I want to use. Then I'll slice this into thin strips. Then we'll turn those in the other direction and cut them very small. And then I'll toss those in our bowl. Next up is my organic cucumber and we're going to cut that into small pieces just like the bell pepper. So cut off the ends and then cut the cucumber in half and then cut that in half again. Then cut strips into it and this will make quick work of it. Rotate the sticks and then chop it the other direction and you've got a nice fine dice. We'll toss those in the bowl and then move on to our jicama. You can sometimes find jicama in stores already peeled and cut into strips, but if you can't, here's how to cut it up. Cut it in half, that way you have at least one flat surface. And then cut off each end. Now you might be able to use a potato peeler to peel this, but the skin is so thick and waxy that I just use my knife to peel it off. Once you get it peeled, a great way to do it is to just grate the jicama. Now another option is you could just chop it into small pieces. Add that to the bowl and give it a nice toss. Check this out, I just picked some green onions from my garden. I'll trim off the end here and then give these a little wash and chop them up. Green onion adds such a nice flavor to salad, you really wanna add that in. Now for some cilantro. Now if you don't like cilantro, go ahead and use a little bit of parsley. Just shave it off and then we'll just chop it up. We'll add the cilantro in and give it another toss. Okay, so it must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. What kind of music should you listen to while you're fishing? 
something with a good tuna. <laughs> it's time to work on our chicken. I've got two chicken breasts here that I'm going to butterfly. Now what this is going to do is just speed up the cooking time because I want this to be quick. Run your knife horizontally through the chicken breast and you'll have two nice thin pieces. You're still going to want to pound your meat a little bit just to get it an even thickness. So we're just going to season these up very simply with some salt on both sides, some pepper, and garlic powder. Let's cook these up. All right, now we're going to cook up the chicken. I have a cast iron pan here. I like to use cast iron when I can. Over medium high heat, as you can see, it's starting to smoke, so it's hot. You want this pan to be hot so that the chicken will, you know, brown up nicely right away. So we'll put a little bit of oil. I've got avocado oil here. You could use olive oil. I just, when I have higher heat, I like to use avocado oil because it can handle the higher temperatures better. So I'm just coating the bottom of the pan. Lay that chicken in and don't touch it, don't move it. That's gonna give you a nice good sear. Okay, you can see the color changing. I've been cooking these about three minutes. Turn them over, nice golden. After another three minutes, I'm gonna test for doneness with an instant read thermometer. You're looking for 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're ready to plate this up, so go ahead and give your dressing a bit of a stir, and we'll pour it right over our slaw. Now you may use all of the dressing, or you might not. Better to add a little bit and then mix it in and see how much you need to use. Now to finish the salad off, I'm gonna add some sliced almonds and some roasted peanuts. Give that one final toss, and then we'll slice up our chicken and plate it up. You wanna slice your chicken nice and thin. Look at this beautiful salad. And then I like to place the sliced chicken right on top. One half of a chicken breast seems to be just the right amount per serving. And now I'd like to add just a squeeze of lime over the top. Is this making you hungry yet? I can't wait to dig in. Oh, the flavors are so fresh and delicious. That peanut sauce has just the great flavor. You're gonna love this recipe. If you enjoy salads, you're going to want to try my shrimp macaroni salad. It is a family favorite. Click the link here on the bottom of the screen and it'll take you right to it. Thank you so much for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button for me to let me know. I always love to hear from you. So of course, if you have a comment, leave it down below. I'd love to hear it. We'll see you back here next week for another Rockin' Recipe.